Hello, welcome back for more Super Mega Baseball 4. Here we are for Game 3 of the Conference Finals between the Neon and the Bandits. The series is currently tied 1 apiece. The Bandits won the first game 7-4. The Neon come back and won the second game 3-2. But here we go for Game 3, and we're, Bandits are going to be hosting this one. Musty Escar goes going to be on the mound for the Neon with a 0-0 zero zero record so far with a 3 ERA. Going against Beans Klein, who is 2-0 with a 135 ERA. So by the looks of it, looks like this is going to be their ace. So, Neon could have a tough go of it today. And looking at the lineups, Barajas and Phillips are five. Shipwreck, as I said last game, she's probably going to be out for the rest of the series, possibly. She's injured somehow. So, Dapper played decent in left when, when he was called upon to do so. So, let's put him back out there. Sloan hit the game-winning home run last game. So, of course, he's doing great. All oh, his stats are beefed up. Reeds, finds Hogwash has gone down a bit. Let's put Richie over there. Offside, Overlead's going down. But Arnold's rested back up, so we'll put her back in second. She's out of position, but I'm st she's still a better option than Ribeye, I believe. And I guess that's going to have to do it, so let's get to the game. So Sloan's got really high morale, and Arnold's out of position for the Neon. Looking at the Bandit side, we got chemistry bonuses for the shortstop, high morale for our left fielder. Fatigue for their second baseman, and again, fatigue for their catcher, as they're going to leave him in again. And their pitcher has high morale as well. I still don't understand why they keep leaving their catchers in when they're fatigued, but it's not my catcher. I don't care. So here we are. We're at the Bandit's home field. Reminds me of Cincinnati Reds ball field with that riverboat. But Barajas is going to be leading off. Ian Phillips following second. Sound Dapper is going to be coming up here third. So here's Barajas leading off. He's batting 190 with one homer and one RBI so far in the playoffs. And first pitch he sees is down low. That was a breaking ball for sure. He's out in front of this one with the strike. Breaking ball up high. Ball. Grounded up the middle and through in the center. So a leadoff single for Barajas. As the Neon going to try to score early by the looks of it. Runner first, nobody out. Here's Ian Phillips batting 381. He's hit one home run, driven in two. He takes the first pitch inside for a ball. Fouls this one back. Grounder to the pitcher. Over to second, over to first. Phillips is so slow, but he is the catcher. And that's going to result in a double play. So forget what I said earlier about them trying to do something early. Sound Depper steps in third. He's only batting 100 in the playoffs. Hasn't done anything else, really. Had a good regular season, but he hasn't done anything in the playoffs so far. He takes the first pitch for a strike. And he swings at this one and misses it. He's in the hole 0-2. Fouls us back. Swings and misses. Strike three. Chased one. That ends the inning. No score. The bottom of the first coming up. Aaron Wilson is going to be stepping in first, batting 296. No homers, driven in three. And first pitch from Mescar Go is a strike down low on a check swing. Change up, hit out and into right center. It's going to drop. So they also get a leadoff single. Armistice Panther stepping in second, batting 357, driven in four. Fouls first pitch away. Slider taken low. Change up catches the outside corner. One and two count. High fastball. He really went up there to get that one. Fouled it off. Went down for that curve in the dirt. Got it. But grounds out to sec. I mean a short. Throw to second. There's out number one. Fielder's choice. Runner safe at first. Here's Dorothy Walker batting 269. She's hit one home run. Driven in three. She swings the first pitch, fouls it to the right side. Gets just a change up high and in. Strike two. Chased a bad change up high and in. Strike three. That's two away. Here's Rosalind Hammond batting 370. 
She's also hit one home run, driven in three. And she hammers this first one foul to the right side. Fouls another one back. 0 oh 2. Takes the curve low. Swings and misses the outside fastball. Strike three. That ends the inning. Both teams get a hit in the first frame, but no score. Top of the second, Neon coming up, middle of their order. And here's Sloan, who won the game last time up. Spanning 429 in the playoffs, two home runs, and driven in nine home runs. What? You've driven in nine runs. Takes a ball high. Swings and misses, strike one. Grounds this one to the right side. First baseman has it, and he'll win the race to first for out number one. Everett Reeb comes up, batting second, batting 250 on playoffs, only driven in one. Complete opposite of his regular season totals. Picks the first pitch low. He grounds this one over to short. Toss this first in time, out number two. Which brings Ricky Ricci up to the plate. He's only batting .62. Limited playing time. It is has nothing to help here in the playoffs so far. Swings late at that one. Fastball in there for a strike. This was in the right. This is going to hang up long enough to get caught. Route number three. No score. No hits for the Neon. Bottom of the second coming up. And Bandits and Elsie Pineda to the plate. She's only batting 118 in the playoffs currently. And she takes the first pitch low for a ball. Outside, ball two. Fouled away. Fouled away again. Two and two. High changeup. She went up and got it. Hits it to short. Short center, I was about to say. Sloan slid and caught it for out number one. Here's Anders Legstrong. Batting, he's only batting .71. And he takes the first pitch for a strike down low. Takes the low curve for a ball. Out in front of the changeup. Strike two. High fastball. Hit foul to the right. That'll reach the seats. Chase the bad curveball. Strike three. So that's two away. Here's Sean Thornton. He's batting 200. He's hit three home runs, driven in six. His morale starting to go down. He taps this one right in front of the pitcher. Pitcher grabs it. Fires the first out number three. So a quick out. Top of the third coming up. Still no runs. And the bottom of the neon order is up here. It's offside. Batting 133. She swings the first pitch and misses it. Ball one on the outside. Swing and miss again. Strike two. High and outside. Ball two. Outside again. Ball three. Full count. And he'll, she'll take the walk. So a leadoff walk for the Neon as Summer Arnold comes up. She's batting 211. Driven in two. And offside takes off on the first pitch. And she is in there for the stolen base as Arnold took a strike. And she hits this one to second. And offside can't get back in time as that one's caught and tossed a second for the double play. So the walk gets erased. And here's the pitcher. Check swing, but it's in there for a strike. Little looper out to short, caught for the out. That is the inning. So leadoff walk gets erased with that double play. Bottom of the third coming up, still no score. And bandits are at the bottom of their order. Here's Zachary Stout batting 182 in the playoffs. He takes a fastball up high. Strike one. Slider just missed the corner. Curse fouled away. Change ups hit the center. This is going to drop for a single. Sloan gets it back into second. 
So nobody out, runner at first. Here's their pitcher, Beans Klein. He's batting 167. Look for him to try to bunt. He pops it up in the air. And he's going to be safe as this cargo tried to dot slide and catch it and missed it. Couldn't recover in time to toss the pitcher out, so runner first and second. This could come back to bite him. It's back to the top of the order. Wilson's one for one on the day. But he's out in front of this one. Strike one. Ground ball, but caught before it hit the ground. So it was a line out to second. Arnold should have let that bounce first. That would have been an easy double play. Bears Panther. Double play here will end the inning. And, well, possibly. Steps in first for the out, but can't get the second in time. So runners advance to second and third, but there's two outs now. Here's Dorothy Walker. She's over one. Hits this one to deep center, but Sloan should have a play. He sits on the warning track, catches it for out number three. That is the inning. So two runners left on base. Still scoreless game, guys. We go to the top of the fourth. And top of the neon order is back up. Here's Barajos to let off the game with a single. He's one for one. Swings and miss. That had a break. This one's going to center. This one will be... No, it won't be caught. I thought he was going to catch it just before it dropped, but no. He lets it drop for a single. So another leadoff single. Here's Phillips. 0 for 1. He had a double play last time up. Pops this one up on the right side. Right fielder calls everybody off, and he's going to glove this one for out number 1. This Barajas goes back to first. Which will bring Dapper to the plate. He's now 0 for 1 on the day, batting 091 for the playoffs. That's just terrible. Hammers this one foul to the right side. Takes a ball outside. Another tapper foul at the plate, so it's a 1 and 2 count. Foul the way again. Swing and miss, strike three. So two down. Here's Sloan. He's 0 for 1. See if he can get a pitch to take him out to the seats. Not quite the seats, but he'll single out enough right. And this will advance to run to third. So it'll be runners at the corners with two outs. And it's going to be up to Reed to try to drive one of them in. He's 0 for 1. Toss over. Sloan dives back in safely. Toss back over again. Again dives back in. Sloan takes off this time. And he's going to be in there safely. As Reed took a strike for that play to develop. So base hit here could score two as he swings early on that one. Strike two. Fouls this one away. Grounder up the middle, past the pitcher. Second baseman has it over to first in time to end the inning. So they pick up two hits, but they leave them stranded. Bottom of the fourth coming up. No runs scored as of yet. Both teams have three hits, so a pretty even game right now. Here's Rosalind Hammond, who's 0 for 1. And she grounds the curveball to the right side. Arnold knocks it down over to first, not in time. Safe at first. Infield single. Pineda steps back in. She's 0 for 1 today. Takes the fastball up high for a strike. Curve low. Ball one. Slider. Nice stop. But couldn't get anybody out. It's a nice diving stop to stop it from going into the center, but he just couldn't get anybody out with the play. So it puts runners at first and second. Nobody out. This one's fouled away. Oof. Ball one. High and ends. Swung at it and missed it. Strike two. Chased a slider out the zone. Curve in the dirt, chased it, strike three. 
So one away. Which brings Thornton to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. Ground ball here could get him out of the inning. First pitch just off the corner. Double steal. Is that what that was going on there? That one's fouled off. This one's fouled off. So one and two. Another foul. Slider hit the third. Steps on the bag. Out number one. Over to first. In time for the double play. And the Neon get out of that jam. Top of the fifth coming up. Still a scoreless game. Here's Ricci. He's 0 for 1. Batting 0 59. Fouls this one to the right side. Nice break on that one. It completely fooled him. Fouled away. Still 0 and 2. Fouled away again. Ground to the third base side. Hammond has it. Tossed the first out number one. Offside. She walked her first time up. So she doesn't have an official at bat yet. She does now. She hammers this one up the middle. Almost takes out the pitcher. So one out single for offside. And that'll bring Arnold to the plate who's 0 for 1. Takes a strike up high. Offside takes off. This one's hit to right side. Bobbled. So, going to be safe at second. She had to hold up and make sure it wasn't caught. Otherwise, she would have been to third. So, runner first and second. Here's S. Cargo. Swings the first pitch and misses. Takes this one inside. Ball one. Cranks this one deep to center. This is going to drop. Hits the wall past the center fielder. Everybody's running. This is going to drive in two as Escargo has a two-run triple. And the Neon take the lead. The outfield was playing in, so they had no chance of catching that one. And back to the top of the order is Barajas. It's two for two. Got a chance to drive in another run. As he fouls this one off. Tapper at the plate. It's foul. So 0 and 2. Up high for a ball. Chased a bad pitch. Strike three. But catcher dropped the ball, so had to throw it first to complete the out. So it's two down. It's up to Phillips to try to bring this last runner in. He's 0 for 2 on the day. As the starter's morale is starting to drop, so is the stamina is getting pretty low. This one's hit the center, but it's going to hang up too long. And it's caught for out number three. So a runner stranded to third, but he drives in two with that triple of his. Neon takes an early 2 nothing lead here in the middle. Of the, well, I wouldn't say an early lead. It's the middle of the game. Bottom of the order coming up here is Zachary Stout. He's one for one. Now Escargo's got a little bit of cushion to work with. As the first pitch is in there for a strike. Curve just misses. Change up inside. Swung and missed. Curve caught the outside corner. Down low. Strike three. That brings their pitcher up. Let's see if they replace him. He's one for one today. They are going to replace him. Philip Connor's going to come in to pinch hit. His first playoff at bat. And he fouls the first pitch off. Changeup's in there for a strike. Foul the way. Watches the fastball go in. Strike three. Caught him looking. Back to the top of the order. Here's Aaron Wilson. He's one for two. And he hammers this one up the middle for another single. He's two for three. So two out single. The tying runs at the plate. It's Armistice Panther who's 0 for 2 today. Swings at the first pitch, but got out in front. Fouled it to the right. Hits this one to the left side. This is going to drop fair. So 
So runners on second and third with that double. Which brings Dorothy Walker to the plate. She's 0 for 2. Tying run at second. This one's foul to the right. Out in front of that one. So 0 and 2 count. Chased one out of the zone, got it, fouled it away. She's looking for that one, but didn't like the placement. Another foul. Hits this one to the right side. This is going to drop for a hit. That's going to drive in a run. So an RBI single. And Escargo just can't get this final out. Runners at the corners now. Two outs. One run in. It's a 2-1 game. And Hammond fouls the first pitch away. Sticks up another strike up a high and in. I mean high and out. But you can't catch the high inside fastball for strike three. That is the inning. And Braden Moody's going to come into pitch now. 338 ERA. The band has put one on the board. They've closed the gap. It's a two to one game now. Top of the sixth. Here's Dapper. He's 0 for 2. Struck out twice. With a new pitcher, maybe he can actually get a hit. He's way late on that fastball. Late again. Hits this one deep to center, but this is, isn't going to go far enough. Just short of the warning track. Caught for the out. Here's Sloan. 1 for 2. He singled his last time up. Still on fire, so if you can... You just get a hold of one. This first one's down low for a ball. Out in front of that, fouled it away. A little light tapper to short. This will be out number two. Which brings Reed up to the plate for the third time. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Swing and a miss of the first pitch. Ball one down the dirt. Grounded up the middle, off the second baseman's glove into center. Reed's going to be safe at first. So two outs, runner at first. It's up to Ricci to try to advance the runner. He's 0 for 2 today. Batting 0 56. He's only got to have like one hit maybe in the whole playoffs so far. First pitch is in for a ball. Toss over to first. Reed's not going to go anywhere. He doesn't have the speed. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One and one. Fouled away. Tossed the first again. He's he's not going anywhere. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Foul to the left. Inside gets hit. He may be injured on that one. And offside is not happy with that. Yeah, Richie's injured on that one. How bad? He's really hurt. So he's going to have to come out. We have no choice but to put Hogwash possibly back in. No. Let's not do that. Um, Arnold's... Arnold can play short, right? No. Arnold can only play that offside. You can only play third. First, nobody else can play short. Ugh, I don't have really a choice. I'm... All right, we'd have to do this. As much as I hate to bring Ribeye in, I'm going to have to do it. Let's swap those. Put Arnold at short. And Ribeye's going to go in his normal position at second. Really don't want to bring him in, but... Anyway, it's two outs. Runner first and second. Let's see if offside can make him pay for that. So we have two injured players now. They're going to be out for a while. She's out in front of the fast... I mean, that was a change up that time, but... Hits this one straight to short, caught for the out. out. That'll end the inning. So two runners left on base, but the Neon's still up by one. But their lineup's starting to get injured, and that could pose a problem later in the series. Here's Pineda, it's 0 for 2. First pitch is hit to right center. Reed is there to catch it for out number one. 
Anders Lickstrong stepping in for his third time. He's over two. And Escargo's day is getting pretty close to ending here too. First pitch and down low for a ball. This one's hit deep to left. But Dapper's got a play on it. Gloves it just short of the wall. It's out number two. And here's Sean Thornton. He's 0 for 2. First pitch in there for a strike. This one's fouled off. 0 and 2. Curve in the dirt. He'll take that one for a ball. Change up, up and in. Swing and miss. Strike three. That ends the inning. So nothing for the bandits. Top of the seventh coming up. Still a 2-1 game. As Arnold steps in. She's one for two. Takes the first pitch high for a ball. Outside, ball two. Out in front of that one. Strike th one. Out in front of that one, two. Strike two. Up high, full count. Singles to right. So lead off single. That's going to bring Escargo to the plate, who tripled his last time up. Do we really want to leave him in? I was going to bring in a pinch hitter, but I might just leave him. As he swings at the first pitch. I mean, he, he did triples last time. Let's leave him in. Swing and miss again. Strike two. Swing and a miss again. Strike three. He's getting replaced at the top of the inning anyway. I mean, the bottom of the inning. So, here's Board Barajas. He's two for three. First pitch outside for a ball. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Strike one. Hits this one up the middle. This drop in the center with a single. So, runner first and second. And Neon have a chance to put some more runs on the board. There's Phillips, who's 0 for 3. Still in high spirits, even though he isn't doing anything so far. And he's going to have to face a new pitcher. Moody's getting taken out. Enoch Yoder's coming in. 485 ERA. And who is this? Lickstrong's getting yanked. Out and right. Hendricks Leverage is going to play right field now. First pitch is grounded through the left side. That'll load the bases up. Here's Dapper, who's 0 for 3. He drove one, drove one hard deep center last time up. Just needs to get one to the outfield if he can. Because he misses this first pitch. Gets it to the outfield, but I don't think this is going to be deep enough. Runner tags. Throw comes in. It's not even going to be close. He has to retreat. So the bases are still loaded. And here's Sloan. He's 1 for 3 today. He's got a chance to really do some damage. Grounds it up the middle. This will drive in at least one. And second run crosses the plate. This runner crosses over to third. So a two-run single from Sloan puts runner on the corners. They now lead four to one. Toss over. Sloan safe. Grounded up the middle. Shortstop will have it. Throws the first in time. Out number three. But the Neon put two more on the board. They now lead four to one. Going to the bottom of the seventh. Zachary Stout's coming up. He's one for two. And Escargo's day's done. Let's bring Odom in. All right, so the first pitch from Odom. Fouled away. Inside, ball one. Check swing, still a strike. Takes the high fastball. So two and two. Pops it up behind the plate. Phillips runs a few feet over, gloves it out number one. There's Hendricks leverage. This will be his first at bat of the day. He's batting a thousand in the playoffs. He takes a curve low for a ball. Swings and misses the fastball. Thought about bunting. That's the change of pace. Took it for a strike. High fastball. There's ball two. 
Slider caught the corner up high. There's strike three. Here's Aaron Wilson, who's two for three. I think he singled his last two times up. Fastball just missed high. Curve caught the outside corner. Fastball hit left. This is going to drop left. Yeah, it's just going to drop foul. Dapper just can't get there in time. So we're going to do this again. 1-2 pitch. Popped up behind the plate. But this is going to land foul. Hits the screen. Takes the curve low. Ball two. Foul the way again. Popped it up on the infield. Odom has a play on it. She gloves it out number three. That is the inning. So nothing for the Bandits. Top of the eighth coming up. And the Neon are still up by three. And here's Ribeye's first at bat of the game. Yet to get a hit in the playoffs. And he pops this one up behind the plate. And this is going to hit the screen for a foul. Foul all the way again. Grounder to second. This will be an easy play over to first. There's out number one. Offside, step it back in to, for her third chance. She's one for two. She's also walked today. Swings late at the fastball. Swings late again, misses it. Weak grounder to the left side. Third baseman has it. Toss the first in time. Out number two. So here's Arnold, who's two for three today with two singles. See if she can continue the inning. Hits it to right. This is going to hang up too long. Just short of the warning track. Caught for the out. So now go one, two, three. Top, bottom of the eighth coming up. Bandits are down by three. Here's Panther, who's one for three. For the, she's only doubled so far today. Hits the first pitch. Foul to the left side. Fouled away again. She's in the hole, 0 2. Pops it up, left side. Dapper comes in, and he'll glove it for out number one. Which brings Walker to the plate. She's 1 for 3. She's driven in their only run so far. Fouls first pitch off. They're swinging at the first pitch just about every time now. First pitch, well, not the first pitch, but that one misses high. Fastball misses high as well. Two and one. This one's fouled off. Two and two. Inside fastball fouled into the seats. Curve fouled away again. Another foul ball. Chased a really bad fastball out of the zone. Strike three. That brings Hammond up. She's one for three. Takes the first pitch low for a strike. Check swing. Take it for a ball. Check swing again, but that one hits the corner for strike two. Curve misses. Two and two. High fastball chased it. At strike three. That'll end the inning. Here we go. Top of the ninth. Neon are up by three. See if they can get some insurance. Odom's coming in. She's going to get a pinch hitter. It's going to be Roach. It's pretty much the only healthy player we have left on the bench. Pops it up on the infield. Second baseman will have a play. And they gloves it for out number one. So back to the top of the order. Barajas is three for four with three singles. It's the best playoff game he's had in, I think, possibly the whole playoffs. Swings late at the fastball. Did not mean to swing at that. So it's one and two. Outside, ball two. Pops this one up in the infield. Second baseman will have another play. And there's out number two. And Phillips steps in. One for four. Takes the first pitch outside. Strike. High in the zone. Swings and misses. 
Down low, two and two. Shatters the bat and hits it to the right side. First baseman gives chase and no glove of route number three. So that does it for the neon. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Last chance for the bandits. They're down by three. Pineda's going to lead off. She's 0 for 3 on the day, and they're going against the closer. And this first pitch is fouled to the right. High for a ball. Hit the center. Sloan's got a chance. Dives. Catches it. Great play out in the center. One away. Enoch Yoder. Oof. No hits. They're going to take them out. Michaelia Alexander is going to come in to pinch hit. Doesn't have a hit yet in the playoffs. Swings at the first pitch. Misses. Hits this one to center. Sloan's got another chance. And he's there for out number two. So it's the last chance for the Bandits. Two outs. Thornton is 0 for 3 today. He swings at the first pitch. Hits at the ribeye, stops it from getting the outfield, but can't throw him out in time. So it'll be a single for Thornton. That'll bring Zachary Stout to the plate, one for three, so they're still alive. But they need to get another runner on base to have the tying run at the plate. This one's fouled away. Off the corner, strike one. Well, that's ball one. On the outside corner, strike two. Inside high corner in there for strike three. That ends the inning. Neon pull out this one out. Four to one victory. Out hit the band. It's 11 to eight. Now, as I said, I think that was against their ace. So the rest of the series you think would be downhill. They only have to win one more to make it to the finals. So Neon had the advantage. And top hitter for the Neon today will give this one to probably Sloan again. Even though Barajas has one more hit, Sloan went two for four, but he drove in two of the runs. So it's back-to-back -back games for him. He's had good showings. For the Bennetts, we'll give it to Wilson. Went two for four. Scored their only run. Escargot grabs the win. Went six innings, gave seven hits, one run. Struck out eight. He's 1-0 in the playoffs now. Hannah picks up another save. Went going one inning, giving up a hit, struck out one. It's his fifth save of the playoffs. Klein picks up the loss for the Bandits. Went five innings, gave up six hits, two runs, walked one, struck out three. They're two and one on the season. Playoffs, I should say. Top three players. Escargot got the number one. Went six innings, seven hits with earned running and eight strikeouts. Sloan, number two, two for four, two RBIs of stolen base. And Beans Klein is number three, five innings, six hits, two earned runs, walked one. So as I said, with that win, that puts the Neon up 2-1 to one in the series. They only need to win one more. And they'll go on to the finals facing who knows who just yet. We don't know yet. Yep, so the Guardians are up 2-1 to one in their series, and the Neon are up 2-1 to one in their series. So let's get to the Guardian game. Guardians score first. It looks like they're going to hang on to win this one. They blow out the Philosophers 10-3. to three. And that series is over. The Guardians advance to the finals. So it's going to be the Guardians against either the Bandits or the Neon. We don't know who it's going to be just yet. But that series is over, I believe. Yeah, it's a five-game series. So, yep, Guardians advanced. And I didn't expect them to win against the Philosophers, actually. Yeah, the Guardians are 26-22. The Philosophers are 29-19. So they were kind of close. Yeah, well, now that I look at the run differential, yeah, sh that should have told me something there. Negative 10 for the last the Guardians are plus 28. But look at the run differential between the Bandits and the Neon. Bandits were plus 58 in the season. Guardians were 65. So both teams piled in some runs. They, I think those team, two teams, yeah, these two teams were number one and two. Lucky Breaks were number three. But here we go. Next game up this could be the final game of the, of the conference finals. If the Bandits pull it out, we got one more. If the Neon win it, they're going to the finals against the Guardians. And Love Drum is going to be pitching for the Neon, their ace, who's 1-1 one one on the season. Going against Kawhi Cooper, which I think we played against already. Didn't we face him in the first game of the series? I can't remember. I have to go back and look. 
but I believe we played against Cooper in the first time. Anyway, he's 0 for 1 with a 6 IRA. Sloan has still got a high morale, looks like, for the next game. That's good. And I wonder how bad Ricci is injured. Most likely he's going to be out for the rest of the series. If we, Even if we did go both games, he's probably going to miss the rest. Shipwreck's still going to be out. She may even be out for the finals if they make it. But that's it for this one. We will see you back here for game four, possibly the final game of the conference finals, depending on what happens. At most, we've got two more, one more game to play after that one. So we will see you back here for the next one. See ya.